Welcome everybody to another 144 analytics video on how to use the Fibonacci retracements with the 144 rules and guidelines. Number one, if you haven't uh, seen any of the other videos, we recommend on our website the top two are 38.2 and 23.6 video on how to use those retracements and then the 61.8 and 78.6. This is going to be a, a real quick look at some of these things because it's just seeing is believing uh, Tesla, we have a, you know, you never know what Elon will say or what they're coming up with next and the market's all over the place. But yet, look at these, you just have to look at these levels just to see what's going on, that uh, why they're so important and why you need to at least know where they are. So if we go back here to even this further back here, 38% of the all-time high and low at that time sent us on to new highs, which you always expect. Here, 38% didn't make that new high, 78.6, which tends to end a lot of rallies and, uh, and bull markets for that fact, too. So we had a couple dips here, come back up, 78, 78, 61.8, nothing, couldn't go 61.8 the other way. Then we hit 78.6 down here, which sends us 78.6 the other way. Now that's in the rules as to what to look for from not only what a 23.6% retracement and 38 keep the market, well, 23 extremely positive and or negative, and 38 is what needs to hold to keep the trend intact. And uh, that's the level that once taken out, you know you have a, a, chain, a true trend train <laughs> true change in the trend sorry about that uh, so uh, other things from 61.8 and 78.6 can send the market both uh, equal to what that is 61.8 61.8 the other way 78.6 78.6 the other way so they're very um, those are the ones that are going to cause big moves in here. So if we take it back here to what this low was back at the beginning of uh, last year, it hit 78.6 of the all-time high and all-time low. First rally took it to 38%, still keeping the trend down despite hitting this. We're still looking for you know higher prices off of 78.6% 78, 78 uh, retracement. 38% back. First one only goes 38% of this rally, then goes 78.6 up here, then down to 61.8, and then you see the high here, 61.8 back up to the all-time high, and then down to 38%, then again, 78.6 ends at 61.8, 78.6, nothing here other than the major GAN square up in here to 61.8 of this move and this move. I know I'm moving quick, but it's just if the visual doesn't get you and tell you that you've got to be watching these levels just to see there are more highs and lows being found at these retracements than not. So uh, just where we are currently, uh, we've come down to 61.8 of this move and this move here. What it could it do? You know, we would have been looking for 61.8 back up, but as we always say, we watch every retracement regardless of uh, what the longer term uh, target is, just so we know how weak or how strong the market is. In this case, it could only go 23% still making new lows. Uh, you can take it down to as small as you want, and you can see just even this little blip up in here. If we take this and we go to this last high before this bigger break, we can see all it could do was 23.6, keeping the market extremely negative at this point. What are we looking for right now? Right down here about into 144. We like that number. 78.6%. Uh, We'll watch the levels up above to see if there is a, any other turn in the trend before hitting one of these levels that you can see. Now here's another one in Coinbase, uh, just another market that, you know, so volatile all over the place, never know what's happening, but you don't need to know the insides of everything when you have these, the Fibonacci retracements. Because let's just look at from back here, all of those back there we've done... Uh, posts on on our blog and also put into other videos 
as to what those levels were, but here back to the all-time high, 23%, keeping the market still extremely negative, goes to that new low, comes back up 618 comes down 61.8 the other way. The next rally with the new low hits 23.6% again, keeping the market very negative. And in this case, we don't go make a new low and we hold 61.8 and another major GAN square. Now, that sends us to new highs and then it goes right to 38% to the all-time high and where does the break come from but there you know so now and here's where you have to watch like where things are coming from all the different levels so we look here and we can see 38% was right here and it kind of took that out but then if we go and we use the last most important low we can see it went 61.8 of that. So you have to know the area and the fact that it held this and got right back up above the 38% is obviously a very positive sign, which is what it shows. Now we can go as small as we want. You can say, well, how about this low right in here? And uh, just as that quick little setback and we can see that uh, just this to this low right here, exactly 38.2% of that, keeping this leg extremely positive. Uh, and then where do we go now? Uh, this one hit the GAN square up here at 69.75, 269.75. Where does it go? All it can do is go 23% back to here and then on right up into 61.8. So where do we sit right now? Well, we know 61.8 could send us 61.8 the other way. So the long-term target would be down to 127 area. Now anything that would hold 23% in the 122 or 223 area is going to be extremely positive and you can rip them to new highs and where are we looking but 78.6 to the new or to the all-time high, which also happens to be a major GAN square up here at 349.86. So that's what we're looking for in here. As long as this high holds in here, we could take it all the way back down to 61.8. Will be interesting to keep an eye on, but you also got to watch these two levels in here and follow the 144 rules if they hold at that point. Now the last one is here, uh, we're going to take a look at... Um, the hogs and uh, as you know we do uh, a grain and livestock weekly update for our premium members and this is just one of the things we cover here and I want to go back and just show just it's it's everywhere the, the Fibonacci retrace it doesn't matter what market you're dealing with so here in the hogs you can see this move a 78.6% retracement that sends it 78.6 back up to this high, which sends it 78.6 here. So it's the again the 78.6 level produces a lot of wide swings, and so does 61.8. So you can see that uh, then it hits 61.8 before it comes down to here, hits a major GAN square, no uh, bigger retracement here then back up into a 61.8, back into the major GAN square, which now we've hit, uh, this is the third and fourth time here. Again, now only 38%, so keeping this trend down here is what it was doing. It makes that new low. And here's another thing that's uh, key, at least to the grains and to the, uh, to the livestock, is because of the short term of their each month's um, history you have to kind of go to the continuation charts based on that exact on the June contract and in that case you can see here we hit 23 percent back to that on the continuation chart and that should have sent us to new highs which obviously it did but before that it sent it to 61 point just on the contracts high and low uh, the June 24 contract high and low. We would have been looking for 61.8 the other way. All it could do, 38.2%. Obviously telling you the trend is changing and that holding this was a very positive sign, even though this was a huge sign down here. Uh, again, right into a major GAN square, right at that same retracement. Uh, up into 78.6, nothing there. Uh, 
but so we still have to watch what's underneath is what's key and then this thing here sets back to 23 percent based on this low this high had one close under it we can always accept one it's the second one should be right back above it and again held another major GAN square at 99.09 and uh, that just you know quick moves come off of that 38 23 percent when they hold and then right up into again going back to our continuation continuation chart we've got 61.8 up here that uh, we just hit on Friday now what we have here is this can send it again 61.8 the other way so you could be seeing a decent break from this area provided it does turn and if not we'll be looking for 78.6 the other way just based on the same rules and guidelines that we give we hope that you're getting these uh, things or you know understanding this more as to just how important these things are you can do this on any chart any stock any commodity um, Please do. Please, uh, you know, find your your service that has those Fibonacci retracements. They all should and do, um, and and try it for yourself. And when you follow the 144 uh, rules and guidelines within those things, it should help you even that much more uh, to understand and get get an idea as to what's causing the market to move the way that it does without knowing what Elon's saying or what uh, coin what you know what a what major companies are doing to their stock or anything else you can understand it with the retracements and that's what we're trying to do um, we also as we said did the grains we've got some big uh, lows in on we think on the corn and beans they've hit some major retracements we think that could be the base of the next big move up they've come into a little bit of resistance right now and could possibly retest the lows but uh, if you do trade the grains and the livestock, please come um, give us a try. Become a premium member and just see all of these levels well ahead of time. We give them out as targets, what we're looking for uh, when something holds, and we tell you what to look for on the other side. We try to make you understand why we think what we think so that uh, you can be, it can help you in your trading and just be another tool in uh, what you're using to understand the markets and trade so uh, until our next video good trading and see you then